you're the this is your first film that you've made and you're the lead role in an Ang Lee uh, <clears throat> drama. I mean, you, you must have been so shocked when you got that call to say you got the part. Yeah, yeah, I was. Uh, well, I was kind of, I was in a bit of a daze from the two weeks it, that kind of led into into that call. It happened very quickly in, in a very unusual uh, but incredible way. I, I was still studying at school at the time and I auditioned whilst I was at school and uh, and was asked to, was asked to fly out and meet Ang a couple of days later in New York, and so they put me on a plane, and I went over to New York, and I met him. And I didn't expect anything to come of it, and I was just meant to be there for a night. And we read through a bunch of scenes together, and I thought it had gone well, but didn't, you know, I didn't have any expectations, and it was just exciting to go over there and meet him. And then, rather than go back home, they had me stay on and and meet some other producers, and uh, uh, whilst they kind of discussed me and. Uh, and do a series of tests in Atlanta. We did a big screen test for a few days. And so it was about 10 days of, it was a kind of 10 day audition over there, or 10, 12 days in the end. Um, and then I got back home, kind of not knowing what had just happened and got a call that next night saying that I got it. So it happened very quickly. And then I just, then I, yeah, then I had to drop out of school and start. Yeah. I mean, cause it, it feels like now after this project, you're now, and a, a screen actor, you've got other projects lined up, you're going to be getting calls, mm. you know, it's, it feels like, the, I mean, not to take away from your own kind of um, uh, background and kind of learning the dramatic arcs and stuff, but do you, mm. does it feel like in this industry, you just sometimes need that one person, like Ang Lee in this instance, to take that chance? And that could be the springboard you then need to, to form a whole career for yourself. I, yeah, I mean, I've, I feel so lucky that he, that he chose me, of course. I, it's unusual, I think, in this industry especially with a lead role and especially in a big film and especially in a film by a well-known director. Um, well, I mean, it's not unheard of, but it's unusual to choose somebody, A, unknown, B, unknown to the extent that he's never been on a film set before. That just, it's unusual. And so I owe him everything and the casting director everything and, and Sony who backed me everything to, um, to, uh, to have that faith in me and for him to have that courage and desire and fight for me to get the part, when of course, normally in this in this world, you you know you cast somebody who's who's far more well known and, and will bring in an audience and has fans and followers. And so for him to have that faith in me and him to be who he is, uh, choosing me meant a lot. And I mean, what's it? Well, how different is screen acting? Because I, I mean, I've, I've when you go to like kind of theatre, or, or particularly maybe you know, sort of drama school, you do a lot of stuff on stage. But on an actual film set, these kind of short takes you know the constant kind of stopping and starting it must be quite take a while to get used to yeah definitely yeah I mean and not, because I'd only done plays before I was used to just playing the whole arc of a story over a couple of hours and you jump into something one night and two hours later you you're at the other end and you've and you've gone you've gone A to B to C uh, you know in in order and suddenly with a film it's stretched out over a few months and you're shooting the end of the film in the first week and then the beginning at the end and, and it's always like you say it's a lot more fragmented and broken up and that was something to to work my head around, and I think it's something you probably continue to work your head around throughout your career of how to track where you are as the character. And um, uh, that yeah, that was that was tough. That was something that takes getting used to, definitely. In terms of getting used to stuff, I mean, uh, for me, I mean, many things that must have been quite overwhelming. But Steve Martin in particular was the film. Yeah. <laughs> it must have been pretty cool to, to share was, uh, the yeah. screen with him. I, I, not, I, I knew who he was. But I don't think I don't think I'd ever seen anything he'd actually done. I knew him kind of as an iconic figure, but didn't quite know why. Um, but yeah, it was it was it was wicked working with him, and he's such a such a good guy. And um, yeah, it was great. And also, I mean, Kristen Stewart. I mean, to play your obviously playing your sister in this movie. Uh, she's someone that she started off her career obviously the whole Twilight thing, and she almost got pigeonholed into a certain type of movie. But now she's got almost the pick of directors. She's doing so many incredibly diverse yeah. projects. That must be something that's quite. Um, an inspiration to actors kind of starting off in the industry such as yourself and what was she also like to, to work with on this project? She was brilliant. I think she's such a talented actress and, and like you say, she's pretty much got to pick her directors for a reason because she has been so smart with the choices that she's made and because she's very, very good. Um, she, um, like, yeah, I mean, she maybe she, yeah, she was, I guess, pigeonholed at the time, but but now she's, she's working on, on Great projects because she's because she's great and um, and and that goes for this one as well. We, whether you speak to Ang about it or me, like she, she's yeah she's brilliant. And I'm just wondering how much uh, research goes into a, a role like this and how many did you have to speak to many soldiers who have who have returned home from from the sort of war zone to, and 
to, just to find out what it's really like to kind of readjust <clears> and why people, despite what they've gone through, do seem so compelled to go back? We spoke to, uh, well, we did boot camp together and that was run by people who had served themselves and they spoke to us about their own experiences. And there was a military advisor who had served himself in, um, in Iraq and he became very close with us all and he was there for the duration of the shoot and became a good friend of ours. So he, he was, um, yeah, he was, he was, he was, he was and is uh, great to talk to about it, definitely. And just finally, um, Keepers with Gerard Butler is one that's yeah. was coming out. What can you tell us about that? Has that been shot yet? And no, I haven't, I haven't done it yet. Oh, cool. Um, so how do you fit into that story? That is this very dark, claustrophobic story about three lighthouse keepers on an island. Um, and it's uh, it's just this, yeah, it's a, it's a kind of very unusual dark drama and it's uh, it's exciting it's really exciting it's a really good script and it's with Gerard Butler and Peter Mullen who's obviously incredible and um, it's been directed by Christopher Nyholm who directed The Killing the Danish TV show and has just directed Taboo or some of Taboo Tom Hardy um, TV show and uh, yeah I think I'll be doing that at some point early this year nice well I like dark and claustrophobic that sounds good go. <laughs> brilliant thanks so much for the time nice to meet you ladies and gentlemen you're watching Hey You Guys Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!